Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. So today I have made five important questions from Union Budget 2019 for RBI Grade B 2019 exam. So these questions are really important. Today I am sharing just five questions. Maybe tomorrow uh, I'll share another five questions. And in this series I'll I'll be sharing like 25 questions from Union Budget and then 20 questions from Economic Survey in this series. So please subscribe the channel and like this video if you want to get the rest of the questions, right? So this will be a small lecture because I'm going to provide the explanations as well. So the very first question, which of the following statements is correct in terms of PAN and Aadhaar interchangeability as introduced in Union Budget 2019? So it is a common topic now Aadhaar and PAN can be interchanged. But this question is important. The person filing IT returns by quoting Aadhaar number doesn't need to make a PAN card. That is false. I'll explain in the next slides. The second one, the Aadhaar number can be used for cash transactions of more than 50,000. See students, the person, uh, give it a look. According to the proposed uh, rules, the income tax department a lot pan to such person on the basis of Aadhaar. So the data from UIDAI and the data of IT department, right, that will be merged. So they'll be having the IT department is going to have the access to the UI, UIDAI data. So income tax department is going to have the data from UIDAI. But that will be only possible if somebody is having Aadhaar card. If somebody is having Aadhaar card and then he is also having the PAN, then the data will be, you know, interlinked. But if somebody doesn't have PAN card, that won't be possible, right? So in that case, the person should have, the person need to make, need to apply for PAN card to make use of Aadhaar card as uh, in place of PAN. So if you want to use Aadhaar in place of PAN, you need to register for PAN. You need to have a PAN number. But at times, you can use the Aadhaar instead of PAN. But you need to register for PAN. That's important, right? So the first point, the person filing the IT returns by quoting Aadhaar, he needs to make a PAN card. Anyway, you need a PAN card while you can file a return quoting the Aadhaar number. But once you quote your Aadhaar number, the department, the income tax department, they'll get a lot of information about you because your Aadhaar and the PAN is interlinked. Once you enter your Aadhaar number, the income tax department gets all your details. They get to know about your name, address, your father's name, your mother's name. Uh, they'll, they get a lot of information nowadays uh, the passport is also linked to Aadhaar so they'll get to know where you're visiting and also they'll get a lot of details just you uh, once you give your Aadhaar number but you need to register for PAN so that one is false the Aadhaar number can be used yes the Aadhaar number can be used for cash transactions of more than 50,000 up till now you need to have uh, you need to show the PAN card but now if you show your Aadhaar card uh, the bank will get all the details. The bank will get to know, yes, this person have, having this uh, the, this number. Suppose this is your Aadhaar number, uh, 2162, whatever number is. Once you give this number to your bank, they'll get to know about your PAN number. Okay. Once you give this number, as the data is linked, they'll get to know about your PAN. So this one is correct. So Aadhaar can substitute only in case of IT return. That is false. In many other cases, uh, like uh, you can use it in IT returns, income tax returns in banks and in other institution, uh, wherever the PAN was required. But now there is no need. You can just show your Aadhaar, right? A person cannot file ITR by using Aadhaar if he has already PAN card. That is false. A person can file income tax return just by giving his Aadhaar number because once you give your Aadhaar number once you give your Aadhaar number to income tax department they'll get to know your PAN but for that you need to register for your PAN right so Aadhaar replaces the PAN 
but still you need to register for pan to get the services right to file the income tax return so if you do not have aadhar number if you do not have sorry if you do not have a pan number you cannot file an income tax return but at the time of filing the return if you already have a pan number if you have already have a pan card so instead of quoting your pan card you can use your aadhar number that is important the second question the faceless e assessment so what is assessment students uh, whenever there is a case where whenever there is a case on an uh, taxpayer what what happens in case of income tax in case of gst the the taxpayer uh, he is called to the income tax office or the excise department uh, excise department is, is actually handling this gst so you need to go to the department uh, in, even in the case of income tax department you need to go to the income tax department and the it department officer the income tax uh, officer income tax department officer he is going to ask you questions and uh, you go there with your accountant or chartered accountant and you are going to answer the question face to face and that's how uh, the assessment is done so if uh the assessment officer is satisfied with your answers uh if he is satisfied he'll do the assessment he'll give the assessment order according to the answers that you give him so he gets a lot of authority right but in most of the in many cases not most in many cases there there has been cases of bribery as the taxpayer is facing the income tax officer in many cases the taxpayers they bribe the it uh, officers the income tax department officers to avoid such situations the faceless e assessment is there you'll get the cases on your email addresses the income tax department is going to ask you questions via your email and you need to answer the questions on the email itself so there is no need for the interaction between the taxpayer and the it department so there is no need of interaction uh, so the taxpayer and the it department is a correct answer female trafficking or uh, the government subsidies that's not the correct e-commerce it's not related to e-commerce so c is the correct answer so there is no human interference it is eliminated so cash transaction cash transaction is equal to black money in the economy is equal to what black money in the economy so let's say if uh, if i'm uh, getting if i'm making online sales of let's say 10 crore let's say i'm not making that much of money let's say i'm making online sales of 10 crore rupees and let's say during the year i uh, withdraw 8 let's say 9.5 crore rupees as cash and tell the income tax department that this is the ca cash expenditure that i am uh, incurring uh, a lot of big companies are doing uh, are going this way withdraw the cash and mention it as cash expenses so uh, my income is just 0.5 crore well it could be a lot more so to avoid such circumstances the income uh, the in the union budget it is clearly mentioned that any from any account let it be savings account let it be current account if uh there is cash withdrawal of more than 1 crore in one year more than 1 crore in one year 2% tds will be deducted 2% tds will be deducted on the cash withdrawal of more than 1 crore 2% tds will be deducted it won't impact the middle class but obviously it will impact the big businesses uh, who withdraw a lot of cash so uh, cash withdrawal of more than 1 crore 2% of uh, tds will be deducted by the bank itself okay that is really important 2% of tds will be withdraw to be uh, uh, to be levied okay tax uh, tax deduction at source let's move on to the next question uh, basically this tax was first brought by brought in by p chidambaram in 2005 budget right but it uh, it was fixed at just 0.1% right on a cash withdrawal of uh, over 50000 rupees but now uh, this limit is quite generous it is 1 crore rupees they are not targeting the msmes now they are targeting the big businesses finally 
सो मेगा इन्वेस्टमेंट इन सनराइज एंड एडवांस टेक्नोलॉजिकल एरियाज इज अ न्यू इनिशिएटिव इन द बजट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन to invite the global companies to set up mega manufacturing plants in india to produce semiconductor fabrication solar photovoltaic cell computer servers laptops lithium ion batteries etc so our government wants the big it companies uh, computer hardware manufacturing companies to open to start mega projects in india like uh, Foxconn, who produces iPhone for India, uh, they are going to come to India. The last and the very important question in the union budget. This is really important. The public share holding in the listed companies has been increased from twenty five percent to how much? See, students in the public limited companies. Let's say hundred uh, percent is the total share holding. Uh, until now, the uh the promoter group the promoter group the promoters and his relatives they can hold up to 25 uh, up to 75% if you are a listed company you need to give 25% of the company to the public minimum public share holding was 25% there were companies who were having public share holding of less than 20% um lnt finance is a good example a lot of examples are there now the government said that this limit has been increased to 35% instead of 75% it is 35% now the promoter group they can hold just 65% and 35% of the holding should be with the public so minimum public holding in listed companies has been increased from 25% to 35% so that's all for today students uh so this is the list of students who have cracked the rbi grade b ibps so marketing sebi grade a nabard grade a vijay bank grade officer so these are our students who recently cracked the exams and got the final jobs and we have already started the rbi grade b 2019 course we are providing the video classes notes test series worksheets quizzes and rbi grade b gk digest is part of this course rbi grade b gk digest monthly magazine is also the part of this course so all the uh, links are available in the description you can call here 9067201300 and you can take a demo on bank exams today's mobile application or you can go to learn.bankexamstoday.com to take a demo so all the links are available in the description so that's all for today students please subscribe the channel and like this video so that's all for today thank you and have a very nice day bye